12 confirmed kills. No evidence. In and out like a ghost. A ruthless dictator executed. A deadly virus stopped. Our clients are very satisfied. Once again, you've proven yourself to be the perfect sound assassin. I don't think you're taking this very seriously, Agent 47. Jason, your therapy sessions are going quite well, but there's definitely still large areas to work on. I've put in place a further 26-week program for you to review, but I want you to be comfortable with the 4,000 euro cost. I know it's a lot, and you're struggling to cover the costs, but I think in your case it is necessary. I mean, I don't think you're doing too well, are you, Jason? <laughs> hmm. So, are you got anything planned after this is over? Yes. I have tickets to the Miami Innovation Race. Oh, nice! Hmm. Oh. Oh. What are you doing? That sound, it was odd. I'm just gonna go check it out. What? No. It was probably just something falling over. Leave it. Oh. Yeah. I suppose you're right. Did you always want to be a bodyguard? What? It doesn't matter. What now? Come on, you heard that! Seriously, it is just a noise. We ain't dumb enough to go chasing up the simple noises and get split up. We have an important job to do. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I just mean, as a kid I always thought I'd be doing something inside the room, rather than out, if you know what I mean. I always thought it would be quieter. Oh, okay. Message received. Fine, go. Idiot. I am the best of bodyguarding. I'm not fooled by cheap tricks. Oh, I should probably go check that out. Huh? <laughs> Oh. 
Chief Inspector, Forensic Specialist Morgan has arrived. Good afternoon, Morgan. His name is Silvio Caruso. He is the owner of the villa. I just need you to sign off on the murder. Well, actually, in my professional opinion, I think it's a pretty obvious accident. An accident? Really? Oh. Hmm. But he has taken a golf club to the head. Yes, yes. Um, well. He's well known for his passion for golfing, and these Italian patios can get very slippery when wet. You're saying he slipped and smashed his own head in with a golf club? In my professional opinion, yes. See, si, see. Si. I suppose you are the professional. But what about the scissors impaled in his chest? Well, I heard he's a big crafting hobbyist and was clearly running with those scissors when he slipped. Hmm. Oh, okay. <sighs> But how do you explain the garden shredder? Uh, uh, you using, uh, using complex maths, I have measured his velocity and angle of projection when he fell, and it's it's very reasonable for him to end up there. I mean, I suppose that makes some sense. I mean, it's more likely than if an assassin was disposing of his body, but couldn't figure out how to work the shredder. <laughs> what? Nothing, just just forensic stuff. Hmm, okay then. I'm happy to sign off on this as an accident. found another body. A scientist. Forties. Female. Agent 48, glad you're here. Your mission, guarding Diana's house, went very well, but I pulled you back in for something. Please, sir, give me something good this time. Let me prove myself. I'm a fully capable trained assassin. Well, I've got the perfect mission for you. Do you know Agent 47? You must have bumped into him in the coffee room or something. Yes, I'm familiar with him. Good. Well, he's preparing for one of our most important jobs yet. This will make headlines around the globe. And he needs some help on this one. How would you feel about stepping up? Yes, of course. This is great. I will show you how great I can be. Good. I'm loving your enthusiasm. Now what I need you to do is to smuggle this shuriken into the top floor bathroom of the Miami racetrack. Can you do that, Agent 48? Yes, I'm aware. We need you to hunt him down and kill him. I'm on it. 